Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw words that have the short A vowel sound. I come right here in the middle and I'm just going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, keep going, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Inside this space, I'm going to write the word short and then the letter, letters A. And that little curve line symbol is the symbol we do for a short sound A. I come straight up and I put a dot and from that dot I draw a curve line to the left, come back to the dot, curve line to the right. Come back to the left and draw a straight diagonal line up, straight diagonal down. Come on the right hand side, draw a straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down. Come back to the left. We're just going to draw a curve line out curve line in, 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 and leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, curve line out, curve line in, 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 and now straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. Come inside and let's just draw a curve line, and then a straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up. One straight line, two straight lines, one dot, two dots. What is this? This is a bat. Bat at. Here's that short A. Bat at. Bat. Okay? Now come down here on the right. Put a dot. We're going to draw a curve line to the left. Come back to the dot curve line to the right. Come back to the left and draw a little straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down. Come on the right, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down. Come back to the left. Curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, curve line, curve line, connect. Come inside, put one dot, two dots, in the center, a little flat oval, straight line down, curve to the left, come back up, straight line down, curve to the right. We're going to go one, two, three little straight lines on the left, one, two on the right. What is this? This is a cat. There's our short vowel A, cat at, cat. Okay, now come down over here, right about here, let's put a baby circle. Then we're going to draw a straight line all the way down off the page. Straight line all the way down off the page. Come right here to this point and just go wavy, wavy line up. Straight line down. Come over to the left wavy wavy line up and connect. Come right here we're just going to draw a straight line, straight line connect and inside we're just going to draw some dots. Doesn't matter how many just draw some dots. Now starting on the inside we're going to follow our line, mimic our line and draw some curved lines up and over, curved line up and over Curve line up and over. If you can fit one more in, curve line up and over. And what is this? This is a flag. Here's our short vowel A, flag, flag. Okay? Now come over here on the left. Put a dot. From that dot, we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy line over and stop. Come back to the dot, straight line down, slightly curved line over. Come on the right, straight line down, connect. 
Come up to the top, straight diagonal over, wavy, wavy line, straight line, connect. Straight line down, slightly curved line over, and connect. What is this? This is a bag. There's that short vowel A. Bag. Bag. Okay? Now come over here where you have space. Let's put a dot. Let's draw a pretty good sized circle. Come on the left, curve line out and connect. Come on the right, curve line out and connect. Come over to the bottom, straight line, slightly curved line, straight line up, connect. On the left side on the bottom, straight diagonal up, down I mean, straight diagonal up, connect. Straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. Come back to the where we started with our dot and just draw some wavy, wavy lines. Jump over, wavy line on the left, wavy line on the right. One dot, two dots, curve line, big curve line, little curve line, little curve line. What is this? This is a man. There's that short vowel A. A. Man. Okay? Now, to finish off my edges, I'm just going to put a little dotted line. And that is because, one, it looks nice, and two, some of you might want to keep these as a chart and hang them up. And some of you might, might want to make them into a book, which would be very nice also. You'll do a better job than me drawing these little straight lines, but that's how we finish our edges. Okay? Let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, what I like to do is use all of my colors at the same time. So I'm going to start off with brown, and I'm going to color in my bat. Because he's not really a Halloween bat as much as he is just a regular bat, like a fruit bat. So we're going to make him brown. Okay. And I'm going to come all the way over here, and I'm going to color my bag brown, because this is supposed to be a paper bag. So I'm color, going to color the front face of my bag brown and I'm going to color the side part brown because that's the part you can see but because I want it to look like my bag is open and you could go inside of it I'm going to color the inside top part black to look as if it were open okay next I'm going to take my pink and I'm just going to color my cat's nose pink and then I'm going to take turquoise. This is also a good way of knowing, learning your colors. I'm going to do my Met Anne's color, turquoise blue. I'm going to come over to my flag, flat egg, and color this section blue lightly so I don't lose my dots. Then I'm going to take my red and I'm going to start my stripes. Now, whatever however many stripes you have just always know the top one should be red we all draw differently so everybody's going to end up with a flag that has a different amount of stripes and that's okay alright we're just doing what we uh, think here is my yellow okay now I'm going to lightly color in my man with a multicultural crayon. So I'm going to make him a light brown. You can color your man in any color you want. This is what color I'm doing mine. And I'm giving him black hair. Again, you can color your man any color you want. This is just what I chose. Okay? Oops, one more thing. I use gray for my cat, just to give it a different look. You can also color your cat any color you want. Okay? Just don't color so dark you can't see his face. All right, 
right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my short A words all colored in. Man, back, cat, flag, and bag. Okay, bye-bye.